brace yourself. The ultimate automotive experience. The ultimate automotive experience. From Epcot at the Walt Disney World Resort near Orlando, Florida, Test Track, the greatest automobile adventure of the century. Hey everyone and welcome back to Gotta Go Orlando. In today's video we'll be taking a look at what we know so far about Epcot's test track and also throwing some ideas about. It's a substantial refurbishment that's already underway. Shipping containers are already on site and have been for some time. They are located just under the attractions track in the outdoor section, possibly storing some of the new set pieces, then once emptied, used to store the ride vehicles. Also, General Motors, Chevrolet brand has positioned its showroom cars at the front of the temporary walls in front of the attraction. Then heading over to the concourse of Test Track, the queuing area doors are open and internal work is happening. It seems to be works on the queue slash showroom area where the future concept cars are located. Then moving to the front of the attraction, the external standby line, single rider line and lightning lane queue area, stanchions have been removed. At present, the front plaza area seems to be used as a storage area and construction area. You'll see building materials such as wood panel sheets like MDF, building blocks, timber, cutting table and skips. Also in this area we have seen wooden crates which possibly could be ride components. We have also seen portable construction lighting which indicates that works will be carried out through the night or at least late evenings which indicates they're already racing against the clock. And we thought we'd seen the last of them pesky walls in Epcot, which encompass Communicore Hall and Communicore Plaza, which seems to be getting mixed reviews, but that's for another video. Getting back on track, the walls have returned. Yes, already they are up, in no less than a day or two after they came down. So let's take a look at what we know so far about Test Track and its upgrade from 2.0 to Test Track 3.0. Test Track's reimagining was announced last year out of the blue during the Destination D23 last fall, but nothing was said much in regards to the project. All we got was a sneak peek of some concept art, just two images. This is all we got from the park's chairman, Josh DeMauro, and it was a very short part of the full presentation. We was also informed that the teams from Chevrolet and Disney Imagineering are reaching back into the past for inspiration from the OG World of Motion and that Disney are bringing the spirit of optimism to the next iteration of Test Track. Coming away from D23, all you had was Test Track at Epcot, which will go down for a lengthy refurbishment to reimagine the thrill ride into a third version. Shortly after this announcement, Walt Disney World filed its first permit, which included one of its common partners, Coastal Steel, as the contractor, and this will be for January construction. There's not really much to go off in regards to this information. However, the most important information we can extract from this permit is the contractor, who have worked on WDW projects in the past, such as Expedition Everest, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Mickey's Two Town Fair, just to name a few. The company covers a wide range of skills, from ride systems to steel fabrication. Let's fast forward to present day and now, yep, Test Track is closed. If you didn't ride it, you've missed it. It closed on the 17th of June. Sorry guys for that bad news. Test Track 2.0 has done its duty. Now looking at the time frame for this project, the ride itself won't be getting any major changes. I mean layout or different sections added. So don't worry, no Hot Wheels loops, shame. But Coastal Steel most likely will look at rough sections of the ride layout, similar to general ride maintenance and refurbishments that most rides go through every so many years to prolong the ride's lifespan and to reinforce any structure
structures which have degraded due to the ride's constant operation and these works have already begun on the supports of the track platform at the front of the attraction and at present scaffolding wraps all the support legs and structure now moving on to the inside of the actual attraction this is where the main bulk of the work will be done with new show scenes being added once all the old ones have been removed looking at the concept art that has been released we can see that the ride is getting a more outdoors feel with physical set pieces more like a drive through a forest with trees and bushes maybe Disney over ordered on Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Also what seems to be notable in the artwork is that it looks like there's a cliff edge. The ride seems to be at sunset or sunrise with a bright orange sun bursting through the tree line. Maybe instead of a lorry we're gonna get a camper van near miss. Or animals running across the path of the vehicle. Are we gonna get different landscapes such as the forest, a city, a desert route 66 and an icy scene and the vehicle will be tested in these different scenarios but who knows that's just me thinking out of the box again getting excited Shane and the UV Tron look is going which for me was okay but it didn't fit I personally found it to be harsh cold and lacked detail and I felt it didn't fit Disney's level of theming but I still enjoyed the ride nevertheless I just wish I had experienced it when it was test track 1.0 the crash test dummy style i always find myself riding this attraction just for the outdoor section which may i add is awesome now nothing has yet been released for the car building pre-show section of the attraction but we do feel this will change for a quicker interaction with a modern feel and a new type of pre-show but i have to say i really did enjoy building my own cars Going back to the artwork, the car or ride vehicle looks to be modernised with strip LED lighting and a more rounded body, more in keeping with current vehicles. All I really hope is whatever they do with the attraction, it has a better start than Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which is still having teething problems. And it really doesn't help that the project is very short as the permit expiration date on the permit that we spoke about before is February the 28th, 2025 and I kind of hope they extend the permit so they have a bit more time and get things just right. Do feel like it will open on Memorial Day weekend earliest and July the 4th being the latest, meaning when the Coastal Steel permit runs out, other works will continue beyond the original date. But these dates all depend on if there's no major issues that could push the timeline further back. Now let's move on to the exterior. The concept art for Test Track Overhaul represents a significant improvement over the current exterior, which features a permanent canopy in a contemporary geometric design. While the canopy serves a practical purpose like providing shade and rain cover for them stormy days, it's pretty ugly and I feel like we've just grown to accept it and looking at the brand new concept art it looks like it's being removed. One of the benefits for removing the canopy is to open up the space and improve the view from the brand new conference slash wedding space which is above the attraction the views are definitely going to be superior than what you're getting right now and to deal with the shade I think we're going to get a more greener space like with what's been done at the front of the park with World Celebration, Communicore Hall and Communicore Plaza. I wasn't personally around for World of Motion but looking at photos and videos it looked sleek modern and futuristic in its design and I'm super glad and happy that they're returning the facade back to its original look. To be frank, yes, World of Motion Pavilion was perhaps the least exciting of the original Future World Pavilions, but it still boasted impressive architecture and I really can't wait to see that architecture return. I'm excited about the up and coming test track overhaul, despite the limits of information available so far. I have to be honest, it wasn't the top attraction on my list that needed an overhaul. There is other areas in Epcot what really do need a look at and all I can really think now is what could be next for Epcot. Could it be the land or journey into imagination with Figment? I guess we just have to see what the future holds for Epcot. 
But to be honest, I can't wait to see what will come of Test Track 3.0, and I hope it integrates the best aspects of its predecessors. It seems that Disney and Chevrolet are well positioned to learn from the past successes and failures, ensuring improvements in the new version. I just hope the timescale doesn't restrict them, and the Imagineers have creative freedom and resources to create a high quality ride. Although it's a different style of attraction, I hope Disney spends a bit more time on Test Track's ride system and we don't have the repeat of the chaotic Tiana's Bayou adventure. It's such a shame that all that work went into the look, the animatronics and all this hard work is being harmed by the ride system. It's constantly e-stopping and closing. It seems to be for lengthy periods of time, which makes me feel like it's a system issue. So what's your thoughts and opinions about Test Track? and its refurbishment. Will you miss this version? Are you happy to see it go? Did you prefer the World of Motion attraction? Comment down below because we'd love to hear your thoughts and what you would like done with the attraction. A massive thank you to Bio Reconstruct for allowing us to use his images. Head over to X and support. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell and share with your friends and family as it really helps the channel grow. Don't forget to check out our website that covers everything that's happening here in Orlando, Florida. Florida, GalagoOrlando.com. Want to support our channel? We have Patreon. The link is in the description down below. Now get out there and go and make some memories. And all I can say right now is TikTok. Gotta go. Gotta go Orlando, guys. And don't forget to check out these two videos right here.